Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no ball video. Today I would like to give viewers a brief review about Michelin Pilot 4 Sport tires. I did not buy them, but they came as a package with my Kia Serata GT, which is almost sporty version of uh, Kia Serata. It is sporty version, it's like little pocket rocket. And to contain all that power when turbo kicks in, uh, Kia was uh, quite kind to provide the car as a standard model with the Michelin Pilot 4. So to quickly summarize what they think about tire, if you don't like sport driving car or driving car in the sport mode or handling do not buy the tire the tire is almost low profile it has all the features of the sport tire and um, as a result of it it will be very bumpy also the sport tire uh, the inflation of the tire recommended 35 psi uh, I'd say it's under inflation, so maximum uh, recommended um, pressure is 50 psi. I think the tire deserves between 40 to 45 psi as default. Look, you've got very thin tire, thin as a between rim and and a rod, so very little gap. And when you inflate it that much, there's no cushion. It's become very, very bumpy. And you've got car with sporty suspension and inflated tire to the max and very skinny tire. You've got that bouncy feeling. I think the idea of this review is for people that do appreciate um, sport car, how it handles and what tire can do to enhance the sport capability. And if you accept the bumpiness of the tire or of the car's result of the tire you put in, the Michelin Pilot 4 has a lot to offer. And the first one I would like to emphasize is grip. Uh, the only time I felt I'm losing traction is during acceleration time. But there's a lot of force going on to take car from standstill uh, when the engine is quite strong to accelerate it. The good news is never ever I felt like traction control, stability control worked during my uh, roundabouts or turns or anything like that. And, and I'm pushing quite hard. Look, I'm not racing car because it's illegal to street race it, but I push my car to you know do things that I wouldn't normally do in a normal car. And if you're not driving a passenger, it feels a little bit um, overwhelming. Never ever that tire let me down and that combination. So from a grip perspective, I think that's quite a phenomenal tire. From a bumpiness, it is bumpy. Uh, another downside that I found, and I cannot comment in the entire uh, longevity of the, of the tire, is it's actually the longevity of it because it looks like it's wearing way faster than it should. So normal tire should last between 60 to 80,000 Ks in the car. I've just done three and a half thousand Ks in my new Kia and it looks pretty worn. Um, I start a little bit inflating more and see how um, that wear handles itself, but I think it's a compromise. The tire itself quite soft to achieve the grip, so I think it's a compromise between safety, uh, sport, traction kind of um, uh, feature of the tire, and also longevity so if tire is hard and tough yes it will last a long time but it's not quite safe on a sport car so i think that people that buy a michelin pilot 4 should accept very um low longevity um i'm gonna finish the explanation i will uh come to the car and show my wear of the tire after almost 4000 k's and i say look i'm not racing on the track uh, I'm not racing in the streets, but uh, I'm pushing it quite hard. Um, I do like acceleration of my car. I do like how it handles corners. So I'm pushing it uh, hard-ish 
in those areas. So would I recommend this tire for anyone else? Um, I would, uh, but in condition that your car is sporty and you don't need the tire just to look good for your car because it's not a comfortable ride. As a sport tire, I'm pretty impressed what Kia gives as default tire. I'm pretty impressed how Michelin Pilot 4 handles itself. And um, I would recommend for price point of the tire for uh, uh, viewers to buy if you need to replace uh, your tires and they can currently Michelin Pilot 4 with um, that tire again. So I'll quickly interrupt this video, swap cameras and I'll go and show what my tire looks after 4000k and I know it's incredibly low mileage but um, uh, in a nutshell you know, if you see where after 4,000 Ks in a normal tire and sport tire, you probably will spot what I'm talking about. Also, before I go downstairs and, and, and show your car, um, can I please ask you a favor? If you like this video or any other videos in my channel, reviews or health information, please feel free to subscribe, hit notification bell, hit thumbs up. It will help to promote my videos uh, in a pile of other awesome YouTube videos uh, on YouTube and um, it will give me opportunity to um, create more content because I'm not sponsored by anyone and at least I'm, I'm getting somewhere with my traction if I'm not sponsored by uh, if I'm not driven by money at least I'll reach those people that are looking for reviews like this one without further ado let's go downstairs and look at the tire at 4000 Ks Michelin Pilot uh, four. All right, everyone. Here's the um, rim and the tire itself. So uh, my first point is, this is how much rubber you got between rim and the road. So it will be bumpy if you're not ready for this. Um, it is uh, quite good performance tire. It is actually. Um, pretty good tire overall. Um, just make sure that it's visible it's pilot sport 4 and what i want to show you i'm sure it's visible um here you can see uh, that's a cornering and it's after 4000 k's it's quite worn but um i guess you know i corner quite uh well um it's plenty of rubber left as you expect from uh on the 4000 k tire but i did not expect um um that much wear after 4000 k's after all it's a um, beautiful tire um low profile ish and it performs very well on um sporty um vehicles it handles quite well i lost on the traction a couple of times um, from standstill never stopping and never on the corners which is pretty good well guys thank you so much for watching until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.